Hey, folks, it's time for the Mike North 5-Minute Half-Hour News. That's right. We tell you in five minutes what it takes most news organizations a half hour to do. Be the hit at the water cooler. Be the hit at the restaurant. Hey, be the hit wherever you're at. Go in there and say, hey, how about those teams yesterday? Or how about Libya? How about this? Where did you learn all this? The Mike North 5 Minute Half Hour News. Don't forget, we're on Facebook. Check me out if you want to email me uh, about the website. Good, bad, indifferent. L-I-K-R-I-S-H-44 at A-O-L dot com. Let's go to Libya first. Uh, you know what? President Bush... Bravo. Uh, the French, bravo. They took the lead. The, the Brits. Uh, we have Arab states helping out now. This Gaddafi was uh, killing his own people. You know, it's amazing to me when President Bush went after Saddam Hussein. Saddam. Remember his father? Saddam. When he went after Saddam Hussein, he had killed between 300,000 and 500,000 people. And the left said, why are you doing this? Why are you going there? Forget about weapons of mass destruction. You kill a half a million people, you got to go. And the same thing goes for President Obama, okay? Congratulations. We have to help people out. Bush did it. Obama's doing it. It's amazing. Now the right's blaming Obama for this. Hey, you know what? Nobody can win anymore. Here's what I'm saying. Both presidents, in my opinion, have done the right thing. Father Flager, uh, you know, St. Sabina's uh, church, uh, he's done some wonderful things there, but it's still a lot of issues over there. And over 30 years, quite frankly, a lot of the areas there have not gotten better. Some areas have. Here's what I'm going to tell you. No pastor stays at one church for 30 years. So Father Flager's using the newspapers now. I, ca I guess he's only a priest or supposed to be a priest in that parish. Hey, you've worn out your welcome there. There's still crime. It's still rampant. Your deal isn't working. Okay, maybe things are a little bit better. But in 30 years, the way you talk, you think should have been a lot better than they are now. So it's time for Father Flager to move on. We wish him nothing but the best of luck. Want to thank Pat Trafficant, all the guys over there. Want to say hello to Frankie. Want to say hello to Spider. Want to say hello to all the guys at the VIP room of the sports book. A little shout out uh, to all the guys at the M Resort. Great, great guys. Great people. Is out there for a couple days in the first round of the tournament. Uh, the M Resort folks in Henderson doesn't get any better than that. Pat Trafficant, what a great, great host. Make sure you check out the M Resort. It's just the other side of the strip. You just go out of the airport instead of going right, you go left. Now, if you decide you want to stay in the strip, then you have the Phoenician and the Palazzo. I did a show with Hank Goldberg. I did a show with Jerry Tarkanian, Chuck Esposito. If you listen to Chuck, he's been on our shows on the weekends on Fox Sports Radio. Don't forget you can catch me on WIND also Mondays and Friday mornings at 740 but uh, Chuck Esposito, uh, Jerry Tarkanian was great. I mean, he's about 100 years old. I mean, he'd be like this, and then they'd ask him a question. He'd perk up. His demeanor really has not changed all that much. So I wanted to say thank everybody in Las Vegas at the Phoenician. I want to thank everybody at the M Resort. I am very, very lucky. Next week we're going to Las Vegas. We're going to be staying at Caesars because BB's going. So you know what? Uh, she likes them slots over there. So we're just spreading the wealth. I just want to bring some home if you can. Also, we have uh, yesterday, uh, this is it, baby. We have OSU versus Marquette, Ohio State versus Marquette. That's what I think is going to end up happening after Ohio State knocks off Kentucky and Marquette knocks off North Carolina in the east bracket. Then I'm going to have Arizona knocking off Duke and San Diego State knocking off, ooh, the Big East, UConn. Look out for the Big East. They got two teams left. So we have Ohio State and Marquette in the east going to the uh, semifinals of that region. You have Arizona playing San Diego State. Steve Fisher's guys really going to be surprised, and they're going to be making surprises. I think they can knock off uh, Connecticut, and then that's going to be in the West region in Anaheim. Then the Southwest region, ladies and gentlemen, in San Antonio. Uh, Kansas is going to knock off Richmond. I just think they have too much. Richmond's had a great, great tournament. And I'm going to have Florida State knock off Virginia Commonwealth. I know I'm taking a chance. If VCU wins this, I heard Matt Painter of Purdue say that Virginia Commonwealth Rams can go all the way. Geez, I heard they didn't even belong in the tournament. See, I'm glad I didn't fire on Virginia Commonwealth. Now, I did follow on, uh, fire on the fact that Colorado didn't get in. And I did follow on UAB, but I didn't know that much about Virginia Commonwealth, and they absolutely have been getting the job done. So you have Florida State versus Kansas in the southwest region. And then in the southeast region, well, this coming uh, week, uh, Thursday, got Butler playing Wisconsin. I like Wisconsin. And then you have BYU in the lower bracket of that region of the southeast playing Florida. Jimmered for death. I'm sorry. 
I don't know if you're general manager and his name comes up and you got a chance to pick him. I mean, what do you do? What do you do? Now, hey, for the weather, it's going to be, going to be. Oh, by the way, Jake Peavy's got a sore arm. Sacks are cooked. Uh, the Blackhawks, they win, and the Bulls will get ready to tee it up. Weather, it's going to be nice early in the week. But by Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, I'm hearing it's going to be in the 30s. Spring is here, but it's not completely here yet. You've been listening to the Mike North 5 and a half hour news for all the best in entertainment, news, quality, and the story. Right here for you, brought to you by the Village of Rosemont. Have a great day. I'm Mike North for the Village of Rosemont. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare, you got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it.